Welcome back. It's Abby. I'm so excited to have you here. And as always, we're going to talk about remote jobs. We're going to talk about starting your business online and side hustles for women. Besides, you no longer have to work in the office, my friend. There are so many opportunities online. The internet is your friend. And we're going to talk about an opportunity that can help you to do what this lady is doing. Enjoy your life from your house without the restrictions of working a nine to five. Welcome back to my channel. This is Abby with Abby Knows Business. And as always, we're going to talk about remote jobs. Now, the job that I'm going to share today is not an entry level job, but it does not require a degree. So on this channel, I give you remote opportunities. I give you both entry level and then also positions that may require some type of experience. But without any further delay, we're going to jump right into today's job and we're going to go to G. GM Financial. GM Financial. I want you to go to GM Financial. And I'm going to tap the link to go to the home page, as you can see at the far left. So you want to click there so we can make sure that we're at the right page, my friend. Before I show you this job, if you've not already done so, I want you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It costs you nothing. Also, at the end, I want you to leave a comment. I want you to like the video so that Many people can get this information. Again, I'm not just giving you job announcements. We're talking about it, and I'm giving you a couple of strategies to help you with your mindset. So without any further delay, let us get this party started. So we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page, and you're going to do exactly what I'm doing here. And by the way, I hope you're having a great day. And you're going to see a link that says About Careers Investor Center Espanol. Click careers. And for all those who say I offer a little too much information, I am not assuming that you know where to find these jobs on these particular websites. That's why I take the time to actually show you. And again, I appreciate all the feedback that I've received and keep the feedback coming. It helps us to improve on the channel. So once you get to the careers page, you're going to see careers at GM Financial, and you're just going to click this link that says current openings. How easy is that? <laughs> so once we do that, we're going to scroll down, and you're going to have a couple of options. You can see in this career listing search, you see category. Now, again, there are many different opportunities, but we're going to look at a specific job here that is paying a really good salary, 100% remote, and you can live life without leaving your house. How awesome is that? So we're going to look at where it says you have categories, employment type, and location. Again, you can go through and check we're looking for remote exclusively. We want to be 100% remote. Then we're going to click search. So once we do that, it's going to take us to this page. Now there are, let's see, this one page I believe has like four or five different positions that are all 100% remote. Many of these positions require like technical background. We're not going to look at those, but if you have a tech background, be sure to um, look at this employer. There's some opportunity there. But we are going to select the option that says insurance customer service supervisor remote. And for everyone that wonders why do I pull these customer service, why do I give you information on customer service type positions? Well, I'll let you know. I believe it's a good opportunity to learn the business, to get your foot in the door, and to move around. But again, there are other opportunities if you have more advanced experience. So for this particular job, it is an insurance customer service supervisor. And look at that, my friend. Remote is 100% remote. And it's a full-time position. It's going to have excellent benefits. Now, let's look at the overview. We're not going to look at the whole overview. I'm not going to insult your intelligence. I know that you can go back and look at that, but they're looking for an insurance sales and service supervisor for their on-star team with the possibilities of joining the team as a level one, two, or three. Now, let's use wisdom. That means that depending on your experience in this particular field, that would determine if you're a level one, two, or three. So, 
be sure to go through, I'm going to let you dig through there, but we're going to go through the duties to see if this is a job that would fit your qualifications. And we're not going to go through all the duties, but the first one says inspire and lead team in a manner that effectively maximizes business results and employee satisfaction. Now we could stop right here on this. If you have any type of leadership experience, if you've worked in a capacity where you were leading a, leading a team and you were effective, where you actually had business results, where you were able to, to make the, the, the metrics that were set for, that's a lot. That's saying a lot. This is something you could absolutely do. You want to also coach, mentor, and teach sales and service reps to support their continued growth. So you're going to be an advocate for your team. You're going to coach. You're going to develop your team. You're going to take an interest in helping them with their personal, um, their professional goals as well. You're also going to develop, implement, and execute behavioral-based coaching techniques. So this is going to be a very process-oriented um, way that you're training, and they're going to train you the way that they want you to do the job. So I want you to go through all of this, and it's quite a bit of responsibilities. But again, this job is paying almost $100,000 a year to work remotely. I think most people can handle that. <laughs> So what are the qualifications? So there are some knowledge that you will have to know in this job. And I'm pretty sure that we have people from all over the U.S., all over Canada, and many of you may have this experience. You're going to have to have advanced knowledge and understanding of OnStar insurance systems, policies, and procedures. Understanding of personal lines insurance. Must have a passion for prov for providing outstanding customer service. Must embrace company principles and demonstrate understanding of OnStar insurance's culture. Now, I want to help somebody here. We're going to drop a nugget for you. Now, if I were looking for this position, the first thing I would do is do some research on OnStar insurance systems. Again, many of these jobs, now they're telling you that this is knowledge that you have to have. It's not telling you how you have to have this knowledge. So if you are the type of person that will dig in deep and begin to prepare yourself for this role, you can prepare yourself to have at least a, a, a broad understanding of OnStar insurance systems. You'll have to do some research to figure out what that is, like not understand the ins and outs of it. So again, I'm mentioning this because you don't want to necessarily cut yourself out and say, hey, I can't do this when you've not did your due diligence. Maybe it's not a lot to it. Now, I don't know. You'll have to do your due diligence and research on this. But I want you to begin to think strategically. When you see that there's a job that has certain responsibilities, begin to look deep to see, okay, what is it that I would need to do in this role? Now, how long would it take you to learn these things? Now, you will know that once you do your research. Now, they talk about the skills as well. You have to have strong leadership, the ability to influence others. Now, we've talked about that a lot in our videos. And being able to influence others is a game changer for any role, be it a manager, a supervisor, a customer service rep, just being able to effectively communicate in a way that you can influence others positively can go a long way in developing your career. So you want to develop team members and manage change and conflict. So anyone that has worked in a management capacity, these are good things to do. Now, here's something that may hold some of you up. We want to be very transparent on these openings. You must have the ability, the ability to type a minimum of 40 words per minute. So this tells me that they're going to do a typing test, but you can go online, go to Google. Google is our friend, my friend. Google is your friend. And you can do a free typing test. Just go on and do a free typing test and just start practicing to see where your typing is because you could actually... Because we use a computer all the time, my friend. Even though it says 40 words per minute, you could be one of those people that maybe you're like really 60, 70 words per minute because we use computers every day. But do a typing test to see what your error rate are. But you can just do a, a simple search on Google for that. And here's the good thing about this educational requirement. 
high school diploma or your GED. That's all that you need. It says a bachelor's degree or a combination of experience is preferred, but it is not needed. So let me stress that because I have like some people that have come for me and said, well, no, if it says high school diploma or your GED, that means that you do not have to have a bachelor's degree. They may have a preferred, but if you're able to articulate why you can do this job if your experience aligns with the duties and the responsibilities in this job. My friend, my friend, my friend, as a former hiring manager in both government and also in the corporate world, I'm here to tell you that your a lack of degree will not hold you back. It's all about being able to communicate effectively. They're telling you we will accept a high school diploma. We will accept a GED. So moving forward, what else do you need? You need a minimum of three to four years experience leading in a customer service environment or related work. So any that could be your bank positions, that could be your government positions, that could be your retail space, restaurant, any type of position where you gave customer service. Now, here's one, a big one that you have to have for this particular role. You must hold and maintain a current property in Calgary, PNC, or personal lines license, at least one U.S. state required. Again, just like the opportunity that I've told you about this on Star that they want you to know, do a research, find out like what would it take for you to get this PNC? How long is it? There could be some self study that you can do. So for anyone that has a high school diploma, GED experience with customer service, I want you to just dig into those two things that I've given you. You want to see what this OnStar is all about and you want to see how long would it take for me to actually get this property and casualty um, license. It could be that you're doing some self-study and once you do your self-study, you take a test, you have the license. So again, do not sell yourself short. Don't cut yourself out. You want to be strategic. So I've given you a couple of major nuggets today on this. So this is pretty much the job you want to go through and look at it. And there it is. There it is. The salary is 46.9 to 86.7. And again, we're not going in at 46. Six, nine. We are asking for even higher than 86.7 so that we can land at the max that they're able to give. Now, that's a part of you being able to negotiate your salary. You never accept what they give you, but that's a whole nother thing. I may put a resource together for you on that, but also just want to put a disclaimer out. Although... <clears throat> We mentioned a lot th these jobs, you know, we mentioned for women that are looking for remote work. I want to let everyone know that all the opportunities that we talk about on the channel are open to everyone that is qualified. So there's no discrimination. It can be a, a male, female, does not matter um, how you identify. These jobs are open for all. So I wanted to put that disclaimer out so that we know that there's love for everyone. It does not matter if there's a disability. These positions are open to the public. These companies do not discriminate. So I want you to know we would never show you something that would discriminate or break the law. We would definitely not do that. So the jobs are open for everyone. So one final thing that I want you to do, if you've not done it, if you'll look at the description in this video, there is a link to a video where I put a resource together to help you to prepare yourself mentally for remote work. It is a free resource about 10 to 13 pages long. That sounds like a lot, but it's not. It's a quick, easy read. You can read it in about 10 minutes. It will definitely help you to prepare yourself for remote work. So if you're not done so, you want to go ahead and grab that free resource. But that is all for today. I have said a lot, my friend. My goodness, please forgive me. But I hope that this has been very valuable for you. I hope that someone that is watching this video is going to land this job. And I want to know all about it. You spill the tea. Don't leave anything out. Tell me what the process was like. But as always, I'll come to you each and every day with a new opportunity. I will talk to you in the next video. And if you're not done so, go ahead and binge watch, binge watch all the videos that I've done so far. Go ahead and like, leave comments, and start applying for these positions. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>